So you, you know she's got it in her. And at this point in the season, you should be rounding into your top shape. So that might be bad news for everybody if Eliza White can run in top form. So waiting to get this one underway. We'll have this 3,200-meter run, and then it'll be time for the 4 by 400 for the men's and then the women's to cap off. What's well, been an actually pretty quick day. Very quick day for a 63 team track me. I mean, it's the fact that we're on schedule is pretty impressive. Here we go. We're off and rolling. Of course, Paul Beatty working hard to get a recap of this. That'll be coming in the coming days. I'm not going to put a timeline on him. Yeah, I'm not going to say that just in case. So... Just keep your eyes peeled on our Twitter, at your ESN on Facebook, Eli Sports Network, or just go to the website, elisportsnetwork.com. We'll also have our broadcast schedule for the coming week up there here. Trying to get baseball in if the weather permits, but otherwise we'll get a whole bunch of soccer in. Baseball fast pitch, trying to get some games in this next week is going to be tough. Fingers crossed. Going to try and get our eyeballs on who all these runners are down here. And the lead right now is going to be Stadium. Only by, it looks like, Franklin Pierce. Madeline McKenna of Stadium. I don't see anyone from Franklin Pierce on here. She had an F on her shirt. So I don't know who else would have that. I'm going to need you to look again there. I'm going to have to. Because she's, oh, no, the, taking the lead now is Latham West of Bonnie Lake. So West is the favorite to win this one. She has taken over both McKenna and the mystery runner, who Tony, I think, is has a mission I to try to figure out who it is. Curtis is currently in third. Starting to see the pack separate a little bit. Eliza White currently in third. That's a good position for her to be in. And it looks like Madeline McKenna of Stadium is in second. Wes is going to have the lead as they close in on the end of the second wrap. I believe it's a bunch of Central Kitsap athletes down there cheering on everyone. Great sportsmanship. I think that's Aaliyah Yarian, the mystery runner. She's got the number six on her. from Port Townsend. Latham West. It looks like there's a pack of what, no, about 10 kind of separating themselves. Oh, yeah, this this is going to be a, an interesting finish, but at this point in the race, you can't really tell. You know, even if you're at your first, you could start off really hot and fall to the back. It's it's really in this race about who can who can pace themselves at a decent speed throughout the all eight laps. Paul, I don't know if we're doing a sportsmanship shout out, but Central Kids app deserves it. These girls are running all around cheering for everyone. They did it for the boys thirty two hundred. They're running just as much as anyone else. Trying to get people to Start moving, picking up the pace. And that is a couple of Port Townsend. That is Port Townsend runner right now, currently in fourth. Yeah, that that pack of ten, Matt, that you mentioned turned into a pack of five very quickly. Yes, it kind of separated.
You're right. Now with two packs of five now. Then there's two runners who are in the middle. They've stayed behind that pack for a while. Yeah, and we're getting to that halfway point now. This is their fourth lap. That front pack of five, I don't remember seeing five runners stay that close through the, a 3,200 today. No, oh. by now they've really separated into a line in all of the other ones. It's been that front runner, front two, and then everybody else has kind of been in a line behind them, not a, a bunch like this at the top, followed by another group of five. Yeah, that's a very stingy bunch right there in the top. They're not letting anybody pass up. That it's tough to pass up in these long-distance runs because everyone, like you said, lines up, and the only way to pass is to go on the outside. But you're essentially running longer than everybody else to do that. And now it's still Latham West followed by Curtis's Eliza White. A move on the inside here by Stadium's Madeline McKenna. Yeah, that's it. Smart move there to stay on the inside. I believe that might be a runner for Jackson. Is that Selena Mangerder? Also in that group of five? That fifth, it could be. And it looks like that is going to be Aliyah Yarian from Port Townsend right now in that front pack. Still five of them all pretty close together. That second pack of five. Yeah, definitely. Two spread separated out. from three. I will say it's pretty impressive that they're sitting there running with each other. Yeah, those five that are just staying together. Yeah, that's been an all day or all race thing so far. How long can they keep it up? Latham West still out in front, but again, it's there's not a lot of separation. This is the Finish of lap number five. Yeah. This group of five just holding pace with each other. And actually taking the lead. That is the Jackson runner that takes the lead. Wow, she was in fifth that Selena whole time. Selena Banger, who was 12th in qualifying times. And dropping back to third is West, as also passing her is Eliza White. Couch is back in sixth, and it looks like she is trying to make a move a little bit, but she's going to have to make up a lot of ground in a very short amount of time. Yeah, of she ground. dominated the mile, but that just shows you the difference between one mile and two miles. <laughs> it's a lot, as two runners now are going to start trying to separate themselves in that front five, and Bangerter and White. Eliza White trying to defend her title here. Set the meet record last year. And that those two up top have started to really pull away for sure. And there's a couple of groups of two up in front now, Latham West. And Madeline McKenna, the next two, and falling behind. Excuse me. That's West and Yerian with McKenna falling behind a little bit in fifth. Well, it was about time that that group of five kind of broke up and started, you know, running in a normal 3,200 because for a second there it seemed like a very, uh, going to be a very crazy finish. Yes, it did. <laughs> Two laps to go. Still going to be an interesting finish, though. We'll see. It doesn't look like White's going to let Bangerter get too far away. And that's one that White, at this point, she just has to keep pace. She yep. can't let her get too far ahead, but she has to keep pace to be able to have a kick at the end to be able to blow by her. Well, don't, don't count out that. That second group of two right behind yeah. the leaders right there because you talk about the kick. Latham West seems like she's already closed that gap a little bit. Absolutely. She's starting to pull away and from Urian. Urian trying to keep pace, trying to stay as close as she can. It's been McKenna that has really fallen off the pace of the rest of the pack up front. The top four have really established themselves as the top four. Yeah, and with one lap to go here, I mean – now we're in a, instead of a group of five, we're we're getting on like a group of four here, 
that might potentially be able to win this thing. West and Yerian have both closed the gap quite a bit. This is going to be a fascinating final lap. 400 meters to go. And it looks like there goes White's move. Eliza White is going to be side by side. Watch out for West, though. She's definitely making a move. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. Close that gap very quickly. Now it is back to a group of four. I believe that's Olivia DeBoer who's closing in on trying to take fifth. No, that is Couch. That is Couch. You're right. Julia Couch trying to take over fifth place as she is closing on McKenna. Eliza White just took the lead, and she is starting to pull away. Yeah, she started her kick with 300 meters left to go, and that kind of seems like what these long-distance runners are doing. There goes West trying to keep in line. Yurian going to make the move now. Yeah, West. That, yeah. And just running out of steam there is Jackson is the Jackson runner in Bangerter. Holding her own here at the end, not looking to get passed up, trying to looks like White going to be in a good spot to take this one. And White trying to get at least one lap in on somebody and she does. So White will defend her title, doesn't break her own record but still wins the 3200 meter for the second straight year. And collapsing immediately was Bangerter. She put in a good race. Yeah, I'm curious to see what her what her PR is on this one cuz that one was definitely a PR just Curious to see how much it was broken by. Yeah, she came in running an 11.30. We're still not at 11.30, and she's been down catching her breath for a while. (laughs) Well, that explains kind of the reaction at the end of that. that She she gave everything she had. She killed it. Wow, what a race. Everybody closing strong. So there's the central Kitsap runner. That's Eva Huff. There's Olympia's runner making her close. That's going to be Jordan Graham. And again, you hear all these runners exiting the final turn. Everybody cheering on their teammates. Um, Let's go. Their teammates and competitors. Yeah. Yeah, Everyone hugging each other here. It is a grueling race, and what a close down the stretch here. A late pass there. Way to finish strong. So that completes the women's 3,200, and it's Eliza White for the second straight year winning it at the South Salem Classic. 